Hey guys, welcome back to my another video. In this video, I am going to cover the semantic UI on a React application. So basically, there are a lot of the uh, UI library available for a React. Uh, there is the library for Bootstrap for React. There is uh, the material as well, I think. Uh, let me check the material. I haven't used any material React UI, but uh, let me check if it is. Yes, there is a material UI for the uh, React as well that you guys can use. Oh, looks like this is a pretty nice UI which we have. It looks like it costs some money too. Uh, but there is a community version which is a zero of free forever. But if you are doing a pro, then you can uh, add this as well. I mean, there could be a lot of the UI library. Let me check how many you. Uh, what are the good UI libraries for this year, right? Uh, you can check always like this. And you can check there is material UI and design react uh, blueprint semantic UI repass lightweight retools there are a lot of the uh, UI library which are available which is really good and uh, that we could use this for our own project and this looks like this is uh, good for enterprise application the end design but in this video I'm going to use this one the semantic uh, react uh, component this is uh, this is also really good. Uh, it has over 50 component that we but we can use it and semantic themes, CSS stuff like that. And today I'm going to install this, and I'm going to show that how you can use the couple of the components. Or uh, we, we can pick any components. We can pick a button. Let's see what we can pick. Right. The first thing is let me go to semantic UI here. So I'll just go get started. And in get started, so basically uh, we need we can install using the a homebrew on Mac basically it's just trying to install the node here which we are not installing a node basically uh, I have already run my project here the react applications and react is this is my react application is going to be and it's already running and localhost 3000 okay guys so now let me install this UI okay so what we can do is I can go in here I'll just do a semantic UI react so it will show me the uh, react dot semantic dot UI uh, for the react one which is incorporate with the semantic UI so now the to install this is just to go get started and we can start using a yarn or we can also start using the npm here so I'm using the npm so now let me install this yarn here so I'll just use npm install semantic UI react is going to install semantic UI react and also semantic UI CSS so now let's wait for a bit uh, to get to install this on on this project okay Okay guys, looks like the semantic UI CSS and semantic uh, UI React has been installed in my package, uh, sorry, in my project. So now let me see if there is any issue will come up. Okay, there is no issue is there. Okay guys, so my semantic UI CSS is installed on my React and semantic UI React has been installed as well. So once this has been installed and if I refresh now, uh, yep, I have a test which is coming from the, I'll make this a little bigger guys for you guys. Okay, so here, uh, I'll just show you here in app.js, it's come printing right here. Okay, so I'll just delete the unnecessary, this importing logo stuff. So now the next step is to add a CSS. So here is the uh, CSS path. So basically here is a CSS path as well. Uh, uh, so I'll just copy this CSS path and, and I can add this one. Or you can also add this CSS from your node models. Uh, just you need to surface it where is it location is. But um, for, I'm not going to surface it. I'm just going to add it here. The link basically is will really add it from CDN tool and it will add the CSS okay so once I have this two guys it has been set up so now let's test the uh, component here the button okay let me try this button here so if I click on this try it out it has a pretty good example here so basically I just need to use it so I'll just grab this button and I'll just put it here and I'll just save it so now if I save it I need to import this button from the uh, semantic UI otherwise it's going to it doesn't know where the button is coming from Okay, it's going to complain it. So now let me try this button. Okay, looks like my VS code still doesn't find it. Where is this the button is coming from? So I'll just uh, use this the import from the button UI React. Okay, so once I put this one, if I refresh it, okay, here it is, guys. The button is here. So this is uh, the button which is coming from the uh, semantic UI. So basically, we can use our mo any of the component. If I want to use a divider, not divider, maybe the header. Uh, this is the header. Uh, let me check which one is good to show you guys. Uh, 
uh, the item is pretty good yeah so if I want to use this item one so basically I just need to copy this item group and I just need, I just need to use it here right I'll just import it and here is a button which I use it I'll just paste the item okay and yes I need to import this item where it's coming from okay it already told me the item is coming from here and is there any error nope so if there's okay it, does ha it doesn't know where the image is coming from so I need to import the image as well so let me add the image from the semantic UI as well or oh, images here sorry in this image is complaining about so if I do a image here uh, image image is coming from here semantic UI here image is coming from semantic UI then we could use it here here is a header and here so looks like the it's also complaining about the item did i import the item yes i did but it's coming like this okay it doesn't look good but still it shows the item which is coming from it look like exactly like this okay guys so now let me build something quickly uh, easy easy way uh let me build something here oh. The, the another component here so it looks like the the progress bar is pretty good here so what i'm going to use is to progress bar just to see this how this progress bar work so now it's basically this is the progress bar and this is the button that what we can use it so now let me create a little bit of the of progress bar here the functionality how we can use it so now if we go to the our app.js this is the item what we have it so we're just going to remove it and we'll just add the progress bar so we need to import the progress from semantic ui here and i don't need this guy and let me add the button as well let's use this button so now it's using the uh, the class uh react um style component which would we're not using it we're using the functional component so now i need to change this as a functional component so what i'm going to do here is basically i'm just going to create another uh, state here and this state is going to be uh the percent so this is the uh, starting percent the first is zero and we will start this percentage from zero right from phase zero so we'll just start as a percent here so this is the whenever we click the button then this is going to increment so this is the uh, using the increment here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function here so I could also create this function in a different constant here if we like but uh, yeah we can create like this as well if I do a per set percent here so now uh, basically it's getting the percent and basically what we can do here is we get the the percentage from set which is going to be zero and what we can do is zero uh, we're gonna increment everything by the zero plus 10 right we're gonna increment increment by the 10 every time when we click it then our percentage is going to be increased by the 10 so now now let's see how this is work if i refresh well looks like i need to import the use state and this is coming from the uh, react okay so now if i refresh it here it's going to increase by 10 right every time when we click it it's going to increase increment by 10 so that's how it works and yeah we could also uh, use the um, set timeout or, or sorry set interval to increase this automatically but this is the basic concept what we can use so now let me go back to the here and now let me see what we can do for more more things there is a pretty good for rating what we can do for red as well okay there is a star and we could rate it right we can rate it easily oh we can rate it like this it's pretty nice star rating heart there are a lot of really good components here uh paginations we can use we can use a uh, radio which is toggle here basically it's a switch what we can use we can use a slider so we can use this a lot of good components in our applications okay so i just show you guys how we can use the item and the uh, the progress bar let me know guys uh, it's pretty straightforward we could use it easily if you guys want to try it out you can try it out here and let me know if you guys found any issues on this one i'll just try to help you guys okay and that's all for this video i hope you guys like it and i'm going to put this code on github if you guys learn something new on this video please do subscribe it helps me a lot and thank you very much guys for watching this bye for now